Sodanaflil citrate was initially developed by Pfizer Pharmaceuticals as a treatment for angina pectoris, a common form of heart disease. The results of the clinical trials were not promising. However, many of the male test subjects who had been given the drug were reluctant to return their unused medication due to an unforeseen side effect. Sex in America would never be the same. I prescribe Viagra um, for patients who have um, a little trouble with getting hard. The most common ones is people have diabetes, blood pressure problems, obesity, deconditioning, and might be on antidepressants. There's very common reasons for having erectile dysfunction. Before, he just couldn't get it to operating correctly. And you look inside, you can see little holes that fill up with blood. This is what makes you sexually stimulated. I met Viagra taking girl in her young 20s. What the hell's going on? At these big medical meetings, the drug companies spent a fortune, I mean, a huge amount of money promoting their drugs to the doctors. It must have cost them, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars to set that up. So when they promote these things, they promote them real hard. My doctor says it's right for me. Then I figured, let me get this on the internet on my own. So I did some research. I googled it. Cheap Viagra. And I'd buy them for like 11 bucks. Bend it over, you grab a hair, boom, boom, boom. It's great. Give a little snap on the head, boom, boom, boom. Two hours, three hours. Boom, you're ready to go again. Probably the best sex I ever had. It was good. It lasted a long time. Let's talk about sex, baby. I doubt I'd be in bed with someone who wasn't sharing with me what sexual drugs they were on. I don't tell other women I sleep with. No, I, I use it once in a while because I don't need it, seriously. No, I would not tell the girl that I take Viagra. I will not think I would tell her because um, um, she's very sensitive. Hold up, that's not a sugar pill, that's Viagra. Taking too much Viagra, overprescribing it, they can have an erection that won't go away. The problem is after we finish, it would not go back down. So it's actually a medical emergency. It has to be drained or dealt with surgically. They gave you a warning when they first came out. They could give you a heart attack. I don't know if it was actually uh, worth it for the side effects. To me, I felt like it was treating the dysfunctionality of life and the expectations that sometimes that women, however unrealistic, have of men. I know I had my little taste at the end, but it didn't do me no good because I had no woman with me. Unfortunately, it didn't do anything for me. You've got to have a woman <laughs> with you.